So it's very widely known that Lexus is one of the most reliable luxury brands out there today. It doesn't actually come by an accident why they are so reliable. I'm going to share with you some of the main reasons why that is the case. So make sure you stick around, let's talk about it now. Welcome back to the channel everybody, Mark with Exotic Car Play Place and today's cut right to the chase everybody. Often the Lexus service technicians find themselves perusing the car lots looking for new projects because there aren't a lot of project work to do. A lot of these Lexus cars come in for basic servicing like oil service and brake changes and tire rotations. But funny thing enough, there's not a lot of big repairs that come through the Lexus doors. And as a result, the service technicians find themselves out perusing, looking for little projects to stay busy. Let's get right into the whole reasoning why Lexus is so reliable. First reason is, Lexus has this sort of attitude about, if it's not broken, don't fix it. They don't make drastic changes to their lineup. Every change that they make in their design and their engineering often is well sorted out because it's got a long time. It's long in the tooth. They don't make frequent changes and updates always for the sake of refreshing. They make gradual changes. They carry engines through many generations. They make minimal changes because if it's working, why change it? If people are buying the products and it's reliable, why would you want to make a whole lot of change to that? So that's the first reason why they're so reliable. So the, another reason why they are so reliable is when they're designing their drivetrains, which coincidentally often come from either Toyota or Yamaha, they actually do things to minimize wear and tear. Where I'm going with this is they generally don't build engines that are highly strong. So a great way to measure that is the old rating of horsepower per liter. Now typically older engines or just about any engine that has a rating of 100 horsepower per liter typically means that you've got a really high performance, high strung, in a lot of cases, race engine. That means you have a lot more power extracted from that smaller displacement. So the bigger the number, in this case over 100, generally means you're into a higher performance, racier type of engine. Well, I'm going to give you some examples of some of the engines and cars and the ratings that they have in some of these cars. And then we can compare that as well. So firstly, we look at the IS350. It's three and a half liters producing 306 horsepower. That yields a rating of 87 horsepower per liter, which again, quite a bit short of that 100 horsepower per liter range. Puts this engine in a really comfortable spot. Efficient, but not really high strung. And then there's the IS300. Produces about 228 horsepower out of a 3 liter engine that yields about 76 horsepower per liter. Again, even further from that 100 horsepower per liter range. Again, the engine is stressed less. How about the GSF? That has 467 horsepower out of five liters. That number that's yielded is about 93 horsepower per liter. Also a little bit shy of that 100 mark. Even the ISF at 417 horsepower from five liters only yields a number of 83 horsepower per liter. Again, well short of that 100 horsepower per liter number. Now one exception to all of these Lexus cars is the LFA, which was really a one-off specialized engine. That is a 4.8 liter V10 that produces 552 brake horsepower. That one yields 115 horsepower per liter. That one is quite obviously more of a performance engine, dedicated performance engine. There's no secret there. It's very exotic by sound, performance, and the like. It is an exceptionally awesome engine that every enthusiast can appreciate, the LFA. But let's compare it to some other cars, like the 507 horsepower E60 M5, out of five liters, that yields 101 horsepower per liter. Again, a very high number, race engine, if you will. How about the Ferrari 458, four and a half liters, 562 horsepower, 125 horsepower per liter, exceptionally high. So that's an engine that's well-tuned and obviously on its limits of efficiency. Do you remember the Honda S2000? Two liters of engine displacement? 240 horsepower, well guess what? That was 120 horsepower per liter. Again, one of those rare beasts that exceeded that 100 horsepower per liter limit. Generally, most cars are in that 60 to 80 horsepower per liter limit, and Lexus finds themselves typically in the 70 to 80 range, which essentially means that none of their engines are overly stressed. They're designed to be efficient, but not extremely hardworking. So that essentially makes them reliable. Another reason is 
that really Lexus is an extension of Toyota. Everybody knows that Toyota takes great lengths and great pride to create a reliable car. They always have. That's always been sort of their bread and butter. Everybody defaults to Toyotas and Hondas if they want that reliable car. Well, Lexus just happens to be part of the Toyota family. And of course, naturally, a lot of the build techniques and engineering slides over to Lexus. So let's get into some of the technical reasons why. The real technical nitty gritty. So did you know in the factory, when Lexus is done building an engine, they take each and every engine, not just occasionally spot checking, they actually take every engine, they put it on a table, they mount an exhaust, and they mount a fuel system, and they run that engine up to operating temperature, and they run it and they stress it on the bench to make sure that there's no strange sounds, nothing comes apart, and nothing leaks. They shut it off, they give it a full inspection, once they're satisfied, that engine that gets injected into a brand new Lexus car. So it goes through a rigorous training even before it hits the car. So you don't have any unexpected surprises when you drive that car off the lot. Now, did you know as well for additional testing, what they do is they take the prototype of a particular model and they subject it to heavy amounts of electromagnetic radiation to make sure that none of the electronics in the electrical system are negatively impacted by the radiation that's imposed on there. They do this in a big enclosed chamber for security and for safety reasons, and they just hit that car with immense amounts of electromagnetic radiation. If it passes the test, you're good on the electrical side. As well, what they do to the chassis is they take that car, they test it at temperatures from minus 30 to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. Everybody knows most cars will run very well from anywhere from 10 degrees C up to about 30 degrees Celsius. But what happens if you start pushing the limits and you drive the car in extremely cold or extremely hot conditions? That's where you'll find weaknesses. Well, Lexus makes it part of their regimen to test that car at the extreme colds and the extreme hots. That way they know it's reliable under many, many different operating temperatures and conditions. Another quality control measure they take is the aluminum. A lot of parts like the heads, engine heads, the block, a lot of these parts nowadays are made out of aluminum for weight saving and efficiency, reducing of the weight of the car overall makes the car more efficient, fuel efficient, as well as it helps with overall performance. To pour a cast or to create a, an aluminum billet has a lot of possibilities of injecting imperfections when you do a pour. So they take great measures as well to make sure that there's no contaminants or gaseous pockets that wind up in that block of aluminum. So they do take extra measures to observe that and monitor those conditions so that they have a really solid core of aluminum to start with. And one more thing that they do. A lot of the construction and a lot of the assembly that happens out on the Lexus floor is done by technicians who go through a lot of training and they understand what has to be done. They do this day in, day out. They know what it takes to put these cars together and these engines together. However, Lexus ensures that there's always some sort of quality control inspectors that are always out on the assembly line floor, monitoring those technicians, asking the questions, verifying that they know every fitting, every clamp, every hose is on, not just tight, securely, but as well in the right direction and assembled up to specification. Almost to a military standard that they're so rigorous in to ensure the quality control on assembly that they really want to take those measures to ensure that there are no failures along the way due to poorly installed part or fitting. So all in all, if you can really summarize, the things that make Lexus so reliable are the fact that number one, they don't design the engines out of a ridiculous tolerance. They, they design them so they run well but they're not pushed to hard limits and thermal limits, as well as the quality control is second to none. So everybody, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope all those details summarized it for you well enough to help you make an educated decision on your next luxury car purchase. And most importantly, everybody, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that notification bell as well so you know when the next great video is out. And don't forget to drop me a line, a comment below. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are around that. Do you agree with that? Are there other reasons in your mind why Lexus is, in fact, that reliable? Thanks again, everybody. Mark here checking out. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.